I'm going to present the project entitled The Application of New Teaching the Methodologies Experience in Actual Situations. The objectives of the experience was to, de uh, to develop a project in the context of skills training model but apply it in an actual situation. Who made this project? This project <coughs> uh, was made by students of uh, agrofood engineering degree. Uh, uh, the students involved in this uh, project was uh, from the third academic year and they were uh, studying uh, physical, chemical, micro, microbiological and sensory analysis. Uh, we made this project with this kind of uh, students because in the food industry, uh, they, the professionals have to make, um, have to develop new products and uh, studies of viability of these products. And one of the most important part of this um, uh, new project development is to do a sensor analysis. To do a complete sensor analysis plan, the professionals has to uh, recruit a panel of tasters. Uh, that uh, this tax implies to um, um, manage a product. Uh, sorry, a groups of different types of people. Uh, they have to train the panelists. That implies to es uh, explain the role of the senses and the organ of uh, sensory or organs. Have to explain how to fill a questionnaire or. Um, to uh, help them to explain what they are thinking or feeling, and they have to uh, choose the better uh, sensory test uh, depending on the available results of the product they are going to test. They have to uh, um, uh, take the data from the different analysis and, uh, and apply a multivariate, uh, multivariate uh, statistic analysis to this data. And finally, with the results of this data, they have to make an assessment to the industry in order to decide if this product is going to be produced or not. Um, so, in this uh, context, <coughs> the students of the business engineer has to develop some skills related with this uh, type of work I have to mention. Uh, the skills to, to develop uh, in, uh, includes applying the knowledge acquired to professional work, making decisions involving the use of available resources, transmitting information, ideas, problems and solutions to a both a specialized or not specialized public, collecting and interpreting relevant date, data so as to make assessment. So, how uh, do uh, how uh, we did this kind of project with this type of students. First of all, uh, I presented the project to the students at the beginning of the subject. I, I give them the opportunity to follow this uh, type of project or to keep on being uh, evaluated and working in their previous methodology. All the students enrolled in our uh, <coughs> sorry subject accepted to keep on with this new kind of methodology. The uh, subject is divided in two blocks and in, and in each block the, the scheme <coughs> we follow uh, was as that. Uh, we started with a master class uh, in each block we uh, explained uh, the role of the senses uh, and the sensory organs, the type of scales, the type of charges, how to present the samples and how to manage a training panel. And in the second block, we uh, explain the type of uh, sensory <coughs> analysis, how to collect the data, how to analyze, uh, how to analyze this statistically, etc. After the master classes, we. Uh, we did uh, a lab laboratory practical session where the students act as the tasters because they have to do the real experience of a taster before to do a manager of a taster panel. And after each of the blocks, we ask uh, to the students to draw in of, of proposals to present to uh, our specific group of, uh, of work. Uh, I have to explain that the 
project consists in uh, formulate or um, um, plan, run, and implement a complete uh, sensory anal uh, sensory plan project, uh, but for a, a group of children of five years uh, old. So they have to uh, think how to present all this uh, knowledge to a, a very specific group of people that are how the um, as the children. Sorry, as the children are. This um, part of the work uh, allows them allows them applying the knowledge acquired to a professional work, but uh, specifically for this group. The proposals have to be presented in a discussion forum. In this discussion forum, the students uh, individually or by groups um, present and defend their own proposals. The teacher acts as a um, uh, moderate, moderate the forum and guide the different uh, proposals uh, until they reach an agreement about uh, what they are going to do, how they are going to do, and what kind of resources they are going to use. So in this discussion forum, they uh, work uh, on the making decision involving the use of uh, resources available and transmitting information ideas to a specialized public such as teacher and their colleagues. Afterwards, uh, the, uh, we carry out the activity <coughs> with the children. Few days before the children arrive to our lab, they were called call upon to prepare all the materials they need for the, uh, the sensory uh, session um, because they, uh, they need to know uh, how to organize the work, uh, what kind of uh, <coughs> materials they need, and they have to uh, be conscious of the, how many uh, how, uh, how many work they need, or how many time they need to prepare it. So this part of the project uh, allow uh, them applying the knowledge of to professional work too, and transmitting information information ideas to a non-specialized public such as children. Uh, during the session, they uh, took the data from the different uh, essays or tests they made uh, by the children, and afterward they have to present a re report of the results. Uh, so the, this uh, report um, works on the skill interpreting relevant data so as to express judgment. We analyze the results uh, with these uh, tools. We made a pre and post test <coughs> immediately, immediately, uh, immediately um, uh, after, sorry, after the master classes and before the uh, activity. The proposals were evaluated with a marking template. The forum with observation scale with these five items. The final technical report was uh, evaluated with a marking template. Uh, uh, we uh, evaluate the appropriation description of the elements, the presentation of the data, the statistical treatment, and uh, very important, the conclusion of the of obtaining. Uh, we only we also wanted to know the student satisfaction with the methodology and the reactivity. And although the project is concentrated or focused on the uh, on student university students, we are, are, are also wanted to know. Uh, the satisfaction of the school teachers and if this activity <coughs> helped the children to acquire some knowledge related with the activity. The results, um, it was, uh, this project was, uh, has been done for two years and the results are quite different between both years, so I'm going to present it separately. The first year, year and during the master plan and practical session, the students show high involvement and they made frequent questions because as I was teaching, they were asking how I'm going to present it to my group of children and they asked a lot. However, the second year, they show lower motivation and lower participation. The second year, uh, we made the pre and post test. As, uh, as it's shown, the media of the post, uh, the pretest was five, but the deviation was very high. 
uh, after the activity, the mark increased and the deviation uh, decreased. Uh, this um, pretest showed that the, perhaps the lower motivation uh, was the responsible for the lower mass because they were not very interested in the theoretical uh, part of the classes. However, the activity was useful for improving the learning of the theoret theoretical knowledge. Regarding the proposals, first year, uh, this uh, proposal were very well designed, <coughs> imaginative and elaborated, and used, uh, they used a variety of resources. For example, they use a PowerPoint presentation, a video, uh, games and riddles to show the role of the different senses. They uh, use a technique that I uh, told, uh, taught them during the forum, such as erecting structures, and <coughs> they use a lot of resources for tasting. However, the second year, the proposal was simpler and less elaborated. During the forum, the first year, the students show high participation, a good defense, defense of their proposal, and a willingness to make changes and uh, show new ideas during the forum. In the second year, in the, uh, mainly in the first forum, they show low involvement. Only some students participate uh, actively, while the others keep uh, only hearing but uh, they showed better attitude in the second form. This is reflected in the uh, low, uh, lower marks of the um, uh, proposals and the following in the second years. In the second year. <coughs> Regarding the final technical report, um, again, the marks were higher in the first year than in the second one. Uh, that showed that the, perhaps the skill of uh, recover data, interpreting the, and make some conclusion was not completely achieved in the second year. Regarding the student satisfaction, 75% uh, of the students uh, take, took part in this uh, questionnaire. The main results are the all uh, the students agree that this activity ha has helped them to understand professional work of this subject. They felt responsible for their teaching uh, in, in this project. Uh, they felt independent, but they, find, uh, they, they found very necessary the seminars and the forum and they also found that teacher helped them to understand the content. Regarding general satisfaction, they were very happy to be able to use their knowledge in the real world situation. <coughs> it, it, they felt satisfied carrying on this project and they, I think they, they think they have learned more than by using a traditional uh, process, uh, process project. Regarding preschool teachers and their pupils, uh, the teachers were satisfied or very satisfied. In fact, we are going to uh, well, keep doing this project this year. And regarding the uh, knowledge acquired by the um, pupils, questions one and two, they uh, have been previously de developed by the children at their school, so they <coughs> good marks. And uh, the question three, sorry, uh, was not as good a uh, result, but it's uh, not worth it that this question was also present in the pretest and post test of the university students. And in the pretest, none of the students made it correctly. But at the post test, uh, uh, the, stu the university students made it correct. So perhaps this, our students uh, need to know more before to uh, use it, this information. Regarding the conclusion, working on real-world cases facilitates the development of student skills, improves the acquisition of knowledge related to the subject, improves the satisfaction of the students, allows to know some of the tasks <coughs> they may carry, uh, they may carry uh, out in their future career, increases the visibility of the work carried out in the university to the, to the society. However, the success strongly depends on the level on engagement of the students, and it's very difficult to assess 
to what extent the skill has been acquired. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.